Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray and this here is the all new Pixel 5a from Google. We're gonna be doing a quick unboxing and then jump into a camera test to see how this device performs in the real world because if you haven't heard it, this has the same exact camera as Google's Pixel 5 from last year. So let's jump into the box and take a look at the specs as well as we go along. As usual, we have these easy pull tabs on the back of the phone box that I really enjoy, makes it extremely easy to get inside. And there we have it, the phone right up on top. As you can see, the color is pretty similar to what we've gotten from Google in the past. This gray black color seems to be a little bit lighter than the previous generation. As you can see, the camera module stands out just a little bit more uh, with the black and the darker gray here. But flipping this around, let's remove the cover here over the display. Camera peeking through right there on the top. It does have the rear mounted fingerprint sensor on the back. And as you can see, it has a dual camera setup here, just like the Pixel 5a, 5g, and the Pixel 5 from last year, which is an upgrade over the Pixel 4a, which only had a single camera. This has now a 12 megapixel main camera and then a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera matching what Google's offered on its higher end devices or not necessarily higher end, but definitely more expensive than the Pixel 4a from last year, which is a nice touch. Power button along the side here, it is gray with a volume rocker right below. On the top here, we do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, something that the Pixel 5 lacks, but is available on the other 4a and the 5a 5g from last year speakers at the bottom this should have stereo speakers as well so speaker audio coming out from the bottom and also the top above the display so let's turn this on and get this booted up so that we can start running through that process as far as the other specs though this is running a snapdragon 765g which is the same as the pixel 5 and the 4a 5g from last year again you'll see a lot of these similarities but then that display up front is the largest out of all of these it's a 6.34 inch display full hd plus resolution as you'd expect, as we've seen from other Pixel devices over the last couple of years. But also one thing to note, this is also half an inch larger than the phone it's replacing, which as you can see, the body size of these devices is significant when you're putting them side by side. For $100 more, that might be something that people are looking for, a slightly larger display or you know, half an inch is definitely something to contend with. As far as other specs go as well, this has an upgraded 128 gigabytes of storage versus 64. It also has six gigabytes of RAM, which is the same, but then also because of the larger size of this phone, it has a 4,680 milliamp hour battery, which if you do the math is 49% larger than its pre, which if you do the math is 49% larger than the phone it is replacing. And then the last main thing to note is this is the first device within Google's Pixel A series that has IP67 dust and water resistance. It's not the same as the IP68 as you get on the Pixel 5, but having a phone at this price point that does have a water resistance rating is something that we typically don't see at $449. As far as charging goes, that larger battery is gonna take a while to charge at just 18 watts fast charging. And there is no wireless charging built in on this device. You'll still have to opt for Google's flagship series devices if you do want wireless charging. But along with the phone, they also sent us one of the cases for the device. So let's take it out of the box and see what's inside and hopefully add a little bit of color to the Pixel 5a since this gray is I would have to admit, just a little bit depressing. As far as the color goes for this case, it is a slight green with some neon accent colors on the side here, and then a blue color accent on the inside. So let's stick this in. And that definitely looks a little bit better than what we were getting just with the plain case on this device. Google has a variety of different color options that are gonna be available for the Pixel 5a. And I believe they come in at $29.99, but I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of other third-party options available for this device as well. Okay, so that's the phone. Let's see what else is inside the box here. We have the SIM eject tool right in here, along with 
what seems to be the usual warranty and informational cards about the device. As I mentioned, this is gonna be an 18 watt fast charger. And then we have the USB cable. It is a USB-C cable and then an adapter if you're looking to transfer data from another device to the Pixel 5a. And that's it for what's inside the box with this phone. Okay, so now that we've gotten the unboxing of the Pixel 5a all squared away, let's go out and take some photos and videos with this device to see how it handles itself in the real world. And this year's a look at video capture 4K at 30 FPS from the ultra wide camera. Looking pretty good here at night. Switching over to the main sensor. And as you can see, that main sensor being a slightly larger sensor does produce better video quality in low light situations like this.
And this here is a look at video capture from the front facing camera on the Pixel 5a. Again, Google's never really been really good with video capture from its devices, especially low light situations like this. That being said, this being a $450 smartphone, this is probably one of the best selfie videos that you can probably get from a smartphone at this price range. And that's going to do it for this unboxing and camera test with the all new Pixel 5a. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments and whether or not you think this device is a good deal when compared to its predecessor and the competition. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.